Okay. The valve has got to be right angles to the body here to get it to flow. If it goes down, it cuts it off. You can hear it cuts it off. If it goes up too far, it'll cut it off. So you've just got to peep in the hole, adjust the knob until you've got a really good flow going in. And then the drinker will balance itself out very shortly. A bit of help and hand. No, not quite enough water. I've gone and put the chip paper down, but I think it'll balance itself out in, in a few seconds. We're trying the parches on stone this year, on, on the gravel stop them from eating any shavings and we hopefully there's a bit of heat comes up from the gravel and uh, so we're just running a lightweight chip paper over the surface so there's food for the first few days Stones are on the outside, not too many, just, just to stop it from going underneath. It's not that important though. Lovely. I've not got any brooder rings in this hut this time. I've just banked the corners up with stone and banked it up on the edges. Um, and I'm hoping that my heater and the way I set it up, that will pull the parches to the middle. And I control where the parches are in the shed without having the need of a, a, a brooder ring. Let's throw the food on now, superfine drums, nice and liberally over the floor. One little last look at the drinkers, just to make sure they're low enough so they can reach them. Quite a good idea to have it a different height cross section because there will be some birds taller than the others and it's amazing how they will find those nipples. Here we go. Come on babies. Look at them eating those crumbs already. Straight into them. Nipple look already. Come on. Come on, thank you. Take the plate. Once you get one or two on the drinker, they all seem to follow the tapping and they're there.